We don't need weak people, we want only the strong. During the World War II, almost the whole Nazi Germany was on drugs. Soldiers, teachers, actors, taxi drivers, students, even housewives were taking these pills of methamphetamine called Puritan in their daily lives. Methamphetamine triggers a response in the body that's similar to adrenaline, boosting alertness and a willingness to take risks. It's a highly effective stimulant that even a tiny dose of it can be enough for working all night with an uninterrupted motivation. And that was the driving force behind the power of the brutal Nazi army of Hitler. Even though the Nazis enforced a strict anti-drug policy with harsh punishments, Puritan became a very popular product under Hitler dictatorship which expanded aggressively all over the German Reich and later in the occupied countries of Europe. This little pill was considered as Volkswagen or people's drug and was on sale in every pharmacy without even a prescription from a doctor. So let's dive into the methamphetamine and how it affects human body and brain. The molecular structure of methamphetamine aka crystal meth is similar to adrenaline and so it passes easily through the bloodstream and the human brain. However, unlike adrenaline, methamphetamine doesn't cause sudden rises in blood pressure, but works more softly and slowly. Plus, its effects last longer. Crystal mass stimulates the nerve cells to increase the level of dopamine and noradrenaline excessively. A neuronal firework explodes and a biochemical machine gun starts firing an uninterrupted sequence of thoughts. All of a sudden, the drug user feels wide awake and experiences an increase in energy. The senses are intensified to the extreme. Self-confidence rises. There is a subjectively perceived acceleration of thought processes, a sense of euphoria and a feeling of lightness and freshness. And that was absolutely what Aryans needed. Aryans, who were the hypostatization of human perfection in Nazi ideology, could now even aspire to be a ubermensch, aka superhuman, and those superhumans now could be transformed into super soldiers thanks to this drug. Methamphetamine was simply completing the Nazi ideology of Germans being superhumans. Puritan became a symptom of the developing performance society. Boxed chocolates spiked with methamphetamine were even put on the market. A good 14 mg of methamphetamine was included in each individual portion, almost five times the amount in a Puritan pill. Kill the brand chocolates are always a delight was a slogan of this potent confectionery. Yes, people were taking drugs with chocolates. In the book The Art of War, Sunzi said, Speed is the essence of war. The protein was a secret ingredient of speed of the Nazi army, and it has aligned with the Nazi philosophy of Aryan superiority as it acted like the ultimate performance enhancer. People literally worked non stop for hours, sometimes days, all trying to reach goals of the Third Reich. Protein made the German soldiers feel invincible, marching for days on end and fearlessly striding into combat. So, not surprisingly, the Nazi dictator Adolf Hitler was on drugs too. Hitler allegedly didn't even allow himself coffee and after the First World War he threw his last pack of cigarettes into the Danube near Linz. From then onward, supposedly, no poisons would enter his body. He was living in a constant fear of not being able to function properly, that he wouldn't be able to do everything he needed to do and that he wouldn't be able to perform due to his illness. Since he believed no one else was capable of carrying out his duties from 1937, Morels, who is Hitler's doctor, unconventional methods of treatment quickly gained in importance. Before every big speech to Hitler now allowed himself a power injection in order to work at the peak of his capabilities. Yes, he is probably high in this video too. He didn't always consider drugs as a poison, but an intermediate of power. Blitzkrieg was also guided by methamphetamine. If not to say that Blitzkrieg was actually founded on methamphetamine. In less than a hundred hours, the Germans gained more territory than they had in over four years in the First World War. Nazi army could be stopped by nothing and no one, and they gradually appeared to believe their own propaganda, which claimed they were truly superior. Methamphetamine, which encourages arrogance, supported this false assessment of the situation. Here is the words of a German war reporter about the speed of the Nazi army. The tanks, the artillery, the anti-aircraft guns, the supply columns come rolling in without interruption. Even at night, we feel our way along the country road. No one thinks of sleep. In 1943, the Wehrmacht Central Pharmacy delivered 1,250 pounds of pure cocaine and 130 pounds of pure heroin to the Foreign Country Intelligence Office. These are huge quantities that exceeded the annual medical requirements of the entire German Reich many times over. 
Hitler was introduced to drugs by his personal doctor, Dr. Morel, who was a famous physician, treating athletes, politicians, and celebrities. In August 1941, Hitler became badly sick. He wasn't taking any medications except vitamins and glucose until that point. However, they started to become ineffective. Morel decided to use injections including metabolic stimulants, sex hormones, prostates of young bulls, and pig livers. Morel promised Hitler instant recovery, and after a while, Hitler needed much higher doses of drugs to function properly. The weeks since July 20 have been the hardest of my life. I fought with a kind of heroism that no German could have dreamed of. In spite of serious pain, hours of dizziness and nausea, I have remained on my feet and fought against all of this with iron energy. I have often survived the danger of collapse, but through my will I have always taken control of the situation. The words iron energy and will need only be replaced by e and cocaine, which would be more correct. When Hitler wanted to sleep, he received a dose of morphine and some of the drugs. When he needed to wake, he received injections of some other strong drugs. He was technically a junkie.